हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर होस्ट हरीश बाली फ्रॉम टेक्नोफेड डॉट कॉम आफ्टर अपग्रेडिंग टू विंडोज टेन लास्ट ईयर ऑल माई एक्साइटमेंट विद रिगार्ड टू दी न्यू ब्राउजर एच क्रैश लास्ट मंथ आई थॉट टू गिव इट अ ट्राई अगेन एंड टू माई सरप्राइज लॉट एस चेंज इन दिस टोटल आई विल कवर सम ऑफ द कूल फीचर्स ऑफ एच दैट आई हैव डिस्कवर्ड लास्ट मंथ ओनली well if you haven't downloaded the microsoft anniversary update till now do that otherwise you won't be able to access many of the rich features that edge delivers let's first talk about interface overall design is clean and flat with search bar doing dual function key in web url and hit okay it takes the user to web page directly and also does a pretty good job to show up bing results for search query it doesn't take much time to change the default bing search to some other search engine move into settings from these three dots indicating more on the top right and then settings advanced setting change your search engine preferences there news feed on the home page is customizable use the gear icon on the center right of the page to customize You will notice multiple sections like news, weather, sports, etc. I like to keep the home page blank. Back to these three dots, then settings. Open Microsoft Edge with new tab. Open new tab with a blank page. Browser will open blank page. That's what I needed. While I don't use the next feature much, but gestures on trackpad do make good sense. Use the two finger swipe left to go back to the previous web page, and right goes forward. Have you ever wanted to share a web page or save it with a markup or comment? Sounds good to use. Highlight key portions of a screenshot through make a web note icon. Use the little pen, highlighter, eraser, add note, clip and save web note. Documents saved on OneNote on Edge sync well with app on Windows and Android phones. User just needs to trigger sync once. For that go to settings, then accounts and enable sync there. Sharing icon on the top right is quite intuitive. I don't know why they have put Cortana reminders under sharing. While this feature is not related to Edge, Cortana does a pretty good job in reminders. If you don't see Cortana here, you will need to enable it. I have a tutorial on that. Link for the same is given in description of this video. We all use extensions to make access to apps easy. It's all need based. Like share it for file transfer, to do is for task management. You can explore extensions like Microsoft Office Online, password manager extension like LastPass. Extensions will appear here under dot dot dot. Sometimes you may just need a ad-free reading, something like Book Reading View. Notice the difference reading brings to the content. You may want to change the reading view style to the content. There is a complete change that happens in the background, text color. Plus there are four options to choose font size. I have this bad habit to bookmark everything I want to read. You can imagine the bookmark clutter I will have on my browser. I can now save my reading list under favorites and be more organized. Importing bookmarks is also pretty easy. Go to hub from the top right, then settings and import favorites. Imported bookmarks from Chrome, Firefox or Internet Explorer can be accessed from favorites under the hub menu. Some web content I open almost daily, so I have put that to pin to start. and now i can access it from start menus of my windows 10 system some of the cons i noticed there is no history search option available no short key for full screen web page view if you are little flexible on your browser choice i would strongly suggest you to try edge for few days on your windows 10 device and i'm sure you will like it if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do that by hitting on the subscribe button you may also like these tutorials Thanks for your support.